Yo, welcome back everyone. We are riding bikes today. It is a nice sunny day and we are excited to see this weather come back. We're out doing a bit of enduro trail ride practice, just goofing around really overall. Grass is long, it's green, it's a little wet out there but it's not too wet. Overall riding conditions are pretty much all time high, except for getting across this little swamp. It's a little bit sketchy. Have you seen the new Hondas which have been released? The new 450s look insane. They look like they've gone back to that early 90s, late 80s vibe with the big huge vents to it. I think it looks really, really cool. I don't know if you guys wanna check those out. Maybe I'll throw a picture on screen here to show you it. The new race teams bikes look insane so far this is only for the europe mxgp and um, nobody has been announced for the u.s teams yet but i'm sure they're coming and i'm hoping this styling kind of goes through the whole thing it'd be nice to see like realistically since like early 2010 kind of era bikes they've all looked pretty much the exact same they haven't changed them too much in just visuals obviously we've seen huge improvements in bike but now we'll get into a bit of a pinnacle electronic mapping, electric start, fancy this, fancy that. Now it's all just about look and style. And style doesn't mean it has to be the pointiest ever, kind of the squared off 90s look. It does have a cool vibe to it, and it's a little bit different than all the rest of the brands which are out there, especially with Ducati and Triumph also entering the game and sticking with that kind of pointy vibe that the other ones have. This section here is super nice. It's fast flowing, a little bit sketchy because you got a barbed wire fence to your right. And then we just added that loop around the tree just as a speed check. And otherwise, you could go straight through here, but you know, we want to keep it for our speed. I don't even know if that makes any sense. This section here as well, dry up top, and then you heard left downhill. It doesn't look as steep, it's not super steep, but it's a nice downhill section. We've got Adam up front and Tim in the front as well and um, both of them are pushing it pretty good. This section here will be flooded out here in a month or so. We'll get the spring runoff and that will probably, I mean, sometimes the whole area gets flooded to a degree. Like pretty much where these trees are, it stays pretty dry, but anywhere where you see less trees, it can be flooded completely. Yeah, it's great to see some new change in bikes. I wish it came through the RX series. I talk about them all the time, but it's worth it. Keeping the power on, like this track is so windy and tight. It's really getting that, you know, power on and getting your body position right to be able to get these corners around as fast as possible. This section is fun. It's like I mean, a vertical drop. Your head almost hits the tree branch, but kind of dips underneath. And this section super fast as well. Kind of whip around, left, right, left, right, minor turns, roots, trees, stumps. Yeah, this is good, this is good. We just upgraded by bolting the lawnmower to the back of a quad. And now Tim goes out and cleans that all up excellently. Used to do it all by hand, which is insane. And the quad definitely speeds that process up. And it's nice to leave a lot of wildness to it, so it's it's uh, natural and it feels tight, it feels fast. So we only cut out the section we want, and then we can add new sections as we need. There's lots of property out here which can add trails. This is tricky. If you mess that up, you kind of jam in between, and then I just completely messed it up and stalled. Wonderful, wonderful, and we get going. Okay, good. Sometimes this bike's not the best. And jump out. There we go. If you hit it right, you can kind of kick yourself quite high off that little kick up. If you watch the photo video, that is the area they were jumping out of, and I got pictures on. So that was one of my previous videos I just posted. If you're new to the channel, please watch all the videos if you're into kind of, I don't know, dirt bikes, mountain bikes. I'm trying to add a little bit of photography to it. It's pretty much just a, a my vibe, my life kind of vloggy, but no vlogs. Not anymore anyway. Just the adventure and just the riding. Two wheels is kind of the way we go around here. 
I do have some running videos too because you got to keep in shape. And those have done pretty well over the years. I kind of want to do more of those. I recorded a 40 minute one last time or last fall and when I got back I found out I can't remember if the GoPro died or I never started it. Either one I did a 40 minute run excellent terrain 10k in the hills just trail running and then in the end it turned out I had zero footage from it which was a little disappointing to say the least. This section here gets super muddy you can see that black dirt there kind of stays saturated quite deep into the season really and same with this corner this can all get kind of kind of like a flood zone or a swamp zone it's not till you get back into those trees where it dries back out exiting fast here and this can go straight up the hill or we'll probably swing left into it okay so we've jumped back on the trail we are actually doing it in reverse now, so we turned right around and went along the fence line, and now we're bombing along the far side fence. This is doing a whole section which we didn't even touch last time in the first half of this. This is a cool track because there is so much to adventure in such a small space. And by small space, I mean we're talking about 30 acres of land here, but in a valley it adds a lot of definition. The tight area. There's a couple times, a little cheetah route here. There's a couple times where it's like slow to a stop to just fit the handlebars through the park, through the trees, and uh, it's fun. That section there, you can also hit really fast, and then you have that left turn, so you're hammering on the brakes as soon as you land. He's pushing it. Can we catch him? He's pushing it. He's pushing it. That's the fun bit with these slow sections, like it's fast in between and then you have to figure out how the heck to catch up while also being forced to stop all the time. This is fun. Start getting faster, wide up and downhill. Now we gotta cross back over that river. There we go. We're getting him a little bit. He's fatiguing. Oh. Side. This section can get a little bit tricky. Yeah, through these trees, these are not anywhere near as steep in video than they are in real life. They're actually much steeper, so it's hard to do these hairpin turns on a steep kind of incline and decline reverse. And then these logs hop over, turn left. Ah, oh, what a shame! That's embarrassing of me. Nothing worse, can we? Oh no. He's taking a long way. We actually made an alternate route there so you can shoot across. In case someone stalls, because the last single track is pretty hard to not be in the way when you make a mess up like that. Back with that kickstart. When it works, it's quick and fast. It's not too bad, but electric start is nice. It's hard having it once and then going back to kick. You kind of remember how easy it was. Before you even stop, you'd be pushing the button and rolling again. Whereas now you're coming to a complete stop just to get once at least. And it looks like Adam got away from us at the end. He rides, he's in race mode. He does not look backwards. Mess that up a little bit. Alright, open field. Where is he? A little bit sketch, you know, fourth, fifth gear of a dry, dusty, crusty field. Can't see if there's holes or whatnot there. It's kind of. Oh, yeah, he's way far ahead. It's tempting to shortcut and cheat just to catch back up with him, but then you've shortcut and cheated. Well, that's not cool. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes you just want the battle, you just want to be pushed. And it's awful fun anyway. Well, it'll be super interesting to see if any of the other brands come out with a new upgraded or changed up style. So far, like I said, most of them are looking pretty much the exact same. It's really exciting to see the race teams go to these new plastics 
and it'll be interesting to see if they bring those plastics to everyone. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that they'll come on the 2024 models unless they do like a mid-season update. These will be the 2025 variations, which sucks because we just started 2024, so we want new stuff now. But they're already pretty much out. Everything's already on the 2024 season. It's really just the race bikes which have that really cool vibe to them. And back to it. That's it, really. Super fast, easy ride in, tight, technical. You got ups and downs, different terrain. Overall, this is probably one of the best test tracks we have. And through that open field, we've been tempted to build a more of an MXC track, jumps and stuff like that. But it does ruin the aesthetic of the place once you start big, uh, digging large, big jumps all over the place. Right now, this looks super clean, natural. And it feels like an escape. I know everyone needs that every once in a while. Man, Adam has absolutely abandoned us. He's gone forever, never to be seen again. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoy this type of riding. I'll have a few more of this trail coming up. Subscribe and comment below if you ride. And uh, maybe we can hook up some time. Get a group together. Mountain bikes, dirt bikes. Uh, don't really run in groups. You gotta keep it pretty low key somewhere. Ooh. Oh! No. <laughs> Alright guys, good luck. We'll see you again.